Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. So, almost about a month ago now, I, I would think, I actually did a tier list um, for all of the different characters that are um, that are in Family Guy. And to be honest, I I love Family Guy. As um as a matter of fact, and I haven't really talked about it as much on the channel. But um, I haven't really talked about it as much on the channel, so what I thought would be a fun video to do is if you if is if I give you guys my top ten favorite Family Guy episodes of all time, as a matter of fact, and also let me know down in the comment section what are your top ten um, favorite Family Guy episodes, or if you just want to share your top your top favorite Family Guy episode, go on. Um, go um, go ahead, um, go ahead and do that as well. I'd love to have a discussion about it. So, with that said, though, guys, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends because that really help out my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just um movies and TV and physical media related stuff. I also do Legos. And I also do, and I also play video games. I do all sorts of stuff like that on my channel. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. But most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And, and, and those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, video guys. Without any further ado, guys, enjoy the video. Let's get started. Number 10 is going to be, and then there were fewer. So now, I actually heard a lot of Family Guy, um, I actually heard a lot of Family Guy fans really like this episode. And personally... I do too, as a matter of fact. Like, um, like, like, yeah. It's it's just fun to all to always see like like all of these special episodes that they do, especially with Brian and Stewie when they did like a Sherlock Holmes episode, and then they and then they had they did some other stories like there was Road to India and Road to the Multiverse. Really do like I really do like all those episodes that are a little bit extended, and that's the case. And then there were fewer. And to be honest, I like Who Done It type movies, and I think this episode did it um did it really well, as a matter of fact. And um and yeah, I like how I I like how they think it was Tom Tucker who did it, but then we found out it was his. Um, co-star um, Diane, I think is her name. I can't remember her name right offhand, but the twist is she she's the one that's revealed as the killer after after Tom Tucker gets framed. And this is a very cool as this is a very cool and suspenseful episode to watch. As a matter of fact, and it comes in at number ten on my list. Coming in number nine is going to be Killer Queen. So now I don't remember how many of you guys um know know this episode or how many of you remember it but um but basically the whole the whole point of this episode is that um Chris joins a hot dog eating contest and he goes up against somebody that has never been beaten and then he ends up beating beating him and then, and, and then he starts to feel nauseous and stuff like that. And so, and and so, um, Lois sends him to fat camp. But then they realize that at camp somebody is killing people. As a matter of fact, and Joe and Joe and Peter work together to to see um, um to to see who um to see who killed to see who killed all those people. As a matter of fact, and it was the guy. That, that was unbeatable that Chris um, defeated and he was trying to kill him as a matter of fact and 
And to be completely honest, this is another murder mystery episode of Family Guy, and I I think they did I think they did a good job um, with them um, with this one as well. As a matter of fact, I actually thought it was pretty good. Coming in at number eight is going to be Trump Guy. So so now this is this is one I um I see um I I actually see a lot lower on people's list and and I mean a lot of people say that this is like one of the worst episodes of all time and personally I do not think it's one of the worst episodes of all time I actually I actually think it was pretty funny like um like I actually remember when um when um when Trump was picking on Meg in this episode um I didn't like how he was harassing Meg but 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 um but right before um but right before they discover um that um she was telling the truth um Trump actually acts like Jabba the Hutt um in front of Meg and I thought that was kind of cool but everything else that he did around Meg was garbage as a matter of fact but what I really do like about this episode is the is the main fight in this episode that that um that Peter and Donald Trump has and I think it's pretty funny it's kind of like the same it's the same exact it's uh, it's the same exact fight that him and Ernie have in the in the later epis in the earlier episodes as a matter of fact i haven't seen early i haven't seen the giant chicken in um in any in any recent episodes kind of surprised a little bit as a matter of fact but yeah i do think trump guy was a pretty good episode coming in at number seven is going to be con harris another one that that i that I see a lot of Family Guy fans put low on their list, but, but yes, I know this episode gets so much hate, but with them, but with this one in particular, I really don't mind this episode. I think it's funny how there's like two different things going on. Like you have Peter trying um, to help to teach Chris how to mow along. And then he goes over it and um, to mow's Mr. Herbert's lawn. And then Peter starts messing with Herbert. And then Chris gets jealous. And then we and then on the other side we see Brian trying um, trying to marry a woman that's really old. And um, and she's rich and she's the wealthiest man. She's the wealthiest person. Um, I can't remember where she's from exactly, but where she's from, it causes her to have like this really long name. Like it takes like a minute to say, and I, I cannot memorize it that that much at all. As a matter of fact, like yeah, like if you want to say it like Brian did, you're gonna have to be as talented as Seth MacFarlane, and and I don't know. I don't know, not very many people are going to be able to do that and memorize that line, but yeah. But yeah, so hearing that name makes my brain hurt, but in the end it doesn't make my brain hurt anymore. And it actually turns out to be really, really funny in my opinion. And yeah, just, just all the gags and stuff that this episode has, I, I think is really funny as a matter of fact. And I've actually seen this episode a couple of times, and to be honest, I am... Um, I don't think this is a bad episode at all. At number six, I have the boys in the band. So now, so now this um this is another this is an episode that I don't see in anybody's top ten or in or at the bottom of their list. This is one that's in between, as a matter of fact. But I like this episode. And I think, and I think it, and I think it's really funny, especially how this episode opens up. As a matter of fact, I actually think. Excuse me, guys. I'm a little tired today. Sorry about that. And I actually think it's pretty hilarious how this episode opens up. It's pretty funny, 
as a matter of fact. So basically the whole point of this episode is that um is that um Stewie um doesn't like the little kids songs that they um that they put on um that they put on TV. So what they um so what he does is that he teams up with Brian and they create a band called um Red Shirt Blue Shirt and then they team up together to create to create a band for two um for little kids as a matter of fact and um I really think that this episode is kind of cute it like develops a good friendship as a matter of fact and then how this episode opens up is that Stewie was watching the director's cut of Willy Wonka as a matter of fact and then Lois says, Brian, that's not appropriate to watch in front of the baby. Let turn on something else. And then and um and then and then um Suey's all like, You literally took me to see Magic Mike in the theater, and that's more inappropriate than um than Willy Wonka. I've never seen Magic Mike, but I am um, but I know it's I know it's more inappropriate than Willy Wonka for sure. And then and then they turn it to like these turtle. I, I can't remember what these guys are called, but they're kind of like they're kind of like a ripoff of the Wiggles. And then they and then they say, "I do you play kazoo? I play kazoo when I'm blue." So I don't remember how the song goes exactly, but but then Stewie says, "All these guys are doing is announcing that they play the kazoo and asking others if they also play the kazoo." And then, and then he says, babies don't care about it. Let's, let's start off a band for little kids and create, and create songs that babies actually care about. <laughs> it's, um, it's a pretty good episode, and it's a pretty funny episode as well, and I really enjoy it as well. Reaching the top five now, I have, um, I have to give it to um, the Simpsons guy. So now, if you're a big Family Guy fan, and if you like The Simpsons as well, there is no reason to to not like this episode as all, because I'm the same. I like Family Guy, and I like The Simpsons as well. And um, and yeah, this this episode was um was pretty good. I like how. Lisa and Meg were together. Peter and Homer were together. Another ripoff fight in this episode that he has with Ernie the Giant Chicken. Like he, um, like um, like yeah, for he fights Trump and Trump guy. Like he fights Ernie the Giant Chicken, and then he does the same thing with Homer in this episode. And I also think that um that that was pretty funny uh, as um as well. And um with um. And with this episode, I I really enjoyed it for what it was. Just all the different characters that um um just how they brought the Family Guy characters and the Simpsons characters together in like a big crossover. I actually thought I actually thought it was pretty cool that Seth MacFarlane was able to do that, and um and I really enjoyed this episode as a whole. At number four, four two zero. So now this is so now this is another episode that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, and it um and it's and it's in the mid and it's a Family Guy episode that's in the middle. But um I don't know if you guys remember this episode, but this is the one where Quagmire gets a new cat, and then all the guys are jealous, and then they decide to go over and shave it. But then Peter killed the cat, and then he keeps doing the same thing repeatedly, like he has nine lives. And then they try to go bury the cat's body, and leave, and they leave the window open to see like the cat ran away. After Quagmire gets back, because he went somewhere, as a matter of fact, to get something for his cat. But then, but then later on in this episode, um, pot is illegal, and um in in Quahog, and then Brian gets arrested for it, but then, but then he sets up, but then he tries to win people over that they that they want pot to be to be legal as a matter of fact. So, 
So they create a parody of the they create a parody of the Old Man Blue from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and then they remix the song to say a bag of weed, a bag of weed. It's just really, really funny, and that's the main thing I like about this episode is because they took a song from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and they turned it, and they and they turned it into an inappropriate song. And Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is a rated G movie. As a matter of fact, and I really thought um, that this episode was pretty good as well, as a matter of fact. And and yeah, I thought it was pretty funny, though. Real quick, before I give you my top three, guys, remember to share your picks for the top ten best Family Guy episodes down below in the comment section. And be sure you hit that red subscribe button, but most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And remember, guys, um, those of you guys that are new to the channel... I do more than just um, movies and physical media related content and TV related stuff and I also I also do like related stuff and I play video games I do all sorts of stuff like that so so if that kind of so if anything like that you like to watch on YouTube I do a lot I do a lot of that stuff on um, on my channel as a matter of fact so be sure you go check a couple of those other videos out at number three, I dream of Jesus. So now, I often hear a lot of people say that this is the best episode of season seven. And I 100% agree because I like the whole Jesus um, dynamic between um, Peter and Jesus, obviously, as a matter of fact. And, and yeah, um, in this one appropriate I've um I dreamed of Jesus so Peter loves the song surf and bird <laughs> to be honest I really like that song it's not a great song but it's a guilty pleasure song and and ever since I watched this episode I've I've been so obsessed with that song it's just it's just so funny and it and it just it just makes me laugh hysterically because that's kind of the whole point of the song is it's supposed to be annoying and then Brian and Stewie destroy it and then he goes down to a record store and he finds Jesus and then he and then he discovers that um that um that Jesus can perform miracles as a matter of fact and then at the very end of the episode before Jesus goes he um he says um Jesus gives gives him the song Surf and Bird. <laughs> and it's really funny and the whole aspect of this episode I really enjoy as a matter of fact and I really do think it's pretty funny. I really do actually. And it comes in at number 3 on my list. Coming in at number 2 is the unkindest cut. <laughs> This is a little bit of a weird episode, if you um, if you ask me. But in this episode, um, all four of them—Peter, Quagmire, Joe, and Cleveland—they all go for they all go for a boat ride, and they all go for a swim in the ocean. And then, pa and then, not Pagmire, Quagmire. Excuse me. Um, he goes for a swim with a shark, and then he gets and then he gets his private parts bitten off by a shark. And then they're all like, Quagmire lost penis. <laughs> it um, it's just, it's just really, it's just yet yeah, to me. This was a very funny episode because of what it did. As a matter of fact, and um, and the whole point of this episode is after he loses his private parts, he's sad because he does everything with that. But then later on, um, since his dad is transgendered, he gives Quagmire his private parts. And gets um, and gets a penis transplant, as a matter of fact. And so it's really funny. I'm not so sure if a penis transplant is um is a thing, um. But you guys might want to ask your parents about that in case in case you don't know, as a matter of fact. But 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 yeah. Some sometimes the this stuff in Family Guy I don't really understand, but. But but so yeah, if you um, please ask your parents about it, if you um if you have questions about it, and don't don't listen to what I say about it because sometimes I'll take it the wrong way. As a matter of fact, but yeah, 
the un the unkindest cut, I think, was a pretty good episode. And at number one, and if you guys have known me for any determined amount of time, this is probably no surprise that I picked this one as number one, and that is the Family Guy Star Wars trilogy, as a matter of fact. So if you guys have followed me for any determined amount of time, as a matter of fact, guys, you guys probably already know that I love Star Wars, and all three of these episodes were pretty funny, and everything they did about these moves, and everything that they've done about these what they did with all three of these episodes was pretty funny, actually. And it's it's pretty good, as a matter of fact. And if you had to ask me, I um, I probably have seen all three of these episodes a couple of times already because they are so funny and it never fails. If you guys have not watched the Star Wars episodes, you need to watch it because they are so funny as a matter of fact and the number one family guy episode of all time in my opinion is the star wars trilogy as a matter of fact so yeah guys those are my top 10 picks for the best episodes of family guy remember remember to share your list down below in the comment section or if you don't want to share your whole list just share your favorite one as a matter of fact like the video subscribe and press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future and with that said, though, guys, I'm going to go get Renee back to more videos because more videos are on the way sooner rather than later, as a matter of fact. But with that said, though, guys, take care, drink water, and stay safe. And I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.